Steelers were going into the 1975 playoffs, defending Super Bowl champs. I was ordered by my bosses, come up with a gimmick that will more intensely involve the Steeler fans. So, ha, I came up with a terrible towel, and I went on uh, on the air, on TV and radio. They had two weeks, you know, for me to get this done, throwing towels around and saying to the fans, bring a yellow, gold, or black towel to the game, will you? Uh, if you don't have one, buy one. You don't want to buy one, die one. Uh, you know, just any any face towel or something like that. Uh, and, and, and I had no idea what would happen. I'd show up the first game, my goodness, there's not a towel to be seen in the whole joint, and pals are dropping by my radio booth, old, old pal, and un- needling me, you're a loser again, Cope. <laughs> so, what do you know, the team comes and peers in a tunnel for the introductions. From nowhere come like 30,000 towels, yellow, black, gold towels. They, were they sitting on them, or were they hating to have them in their coats? I have no idea. And then the next year, uh, it was put on there, a terrible towel, you know, uh, but it was just a plain old towel. But that first game, a minimum of three miracles did he deliver, and I had said when I introduced him and, and threw towels at the anchor man and everything on the, on the 11 o'clock news, I had said, the terrible towel is poised to strike. Boy, did he strike.